It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up YouTube? So I set myself a little bit of a challenge today. I picked out the brightest pair of shorts I could find and I was like, well, now I gotta find a pair of shoes to match it. So I was like, boom, all right, cut the shoes. I'm like, but what color singlet can I wear? I'm like, hmm, I have to wear a pretty neutral color. And then I found this and I was like, bam. So I think I picked my outfit pretty good. These are like some serious life challenges that I face day to day. Anyway, just about to go to the gym, it's like 9 a.m getting it done early today because it's going to be like 35 degrees celsius thought we might as well do it before it gets too hot and then we can go and enjoy the day heading off to Derrimet big omen just got here so I'll check in once we get there mm. just taking our pre-workout in the car before we even get there so that as soon as we get there it's go time baby parking itself okay, put it done that's it. how good is that spot on I was like oh, I'm still drinking my pre-workout got this in one hand like I'll just let the car park itself bad boys bad boys what you gonna do what you gonna do when we come for I you all right guys so we're gonna be hitting a test session today and Usually I start with incline presses because I like building up the top half of my chest, but today we decided we're going to hit the flat first, so hitting the dumbbells, um, and then when we move into doing our inclines, we're actually going to superset it with incline flies, just to tear it up as much as possible and just have like no regard for life. I'm still pretty sore from our arm session yesterday, but we'll do what we can. I don't know if I'll be pressing too much weight, but we'll be just looking to keep the intensity up as much as possible by supersetting things, doing drop sets, seven second holds at the bottom, that kind of shit. Yeah, Mark Lowry. Alright, so I just did my first set, and like my whole body is sore from doing arms yesterday. So we're not going to be doing too much weight, but I'm just getting uh, my training partner to spot me and like just kind of guide me, and I'm trying to focus on the e as much as possible. I'm still feeling a lot of stress on my chest. I just don't have too much power to drive out of the bottom. Like I'm saying that if you ever feel like you're suffering from DOMS from your previous workouts, just get someone to spot you and just kind of still go through the range of motion, still hit your intended reps, and just do like a little bit more drop sets and super sets and things like that.
how you know we're in Australia. We just got cockroaches crawling around the gym floor. <laughs> All right, so I'm quietly dying now because I feel like my triceps are so cooked from yesterday's arm session that I'm just losing pressure through my presses. So instead of doing a fourth set on the incline presses, I'm just going to bump the weight up on the incline fly and just do one heavier set on that. So that way I'm just taking out my triceps and focusing on squeezing the upper chest. Just getting that pump on. Movements, yes, plural. We're hitting a cable fly, so hitting the bottom half of the chest, but we're not going really heavy. We're just doing like 15, 20 reps with a light weight, and then we're supersetting that with a guillotine press, so we're moving it up to the upper chest. Now, guillotine presses, you're doing it actually on a flat bench, but you're lowering it up to your collarbone, so it actually hits the top portion, and that way, we're just getting that overall complete caps look to our chest. <laughs> You can actually hear my brakes squeaking and like check this out. That's terrible. Oh, I gotta get it washed today. 100 percent 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 That's quickly whack the uh, singlet back on so I don't get sweat all over the, the seat. <sighs> Quick protein shake. Now about to head home. It's 35 degrees today, so I wanna get out in the sun and get some colour. Make the most of the day. It's only 11 o'clock and we're already done training. Best feeling ever. So uh, when you go traveling with people, it's very likely that when you get your laundry done. The people that do the laundry, they always end up mixing up your items. And like I swear, I've, since I've been back, I've just been discovering all these new singlets in my wardrobe that aren't mine. And I'm assuming they're either my friends or my brothers. Anyway, the singlet I just wore to the gym, my brother messaged me on Snapchat saying, that's mine. And I was just looking for something to wear now, and I discovered this singlet. And I'm like, ooh, this is definitely not mine. I wonder who this belongs to. I'm going to wear it today, louder than thunder. See if anyone claims it. I'll put it on my Snapchat now and see if anyone says, hey... That's mine. <laughs> I'm gonna have my Asian style bassa fish from Prep Nutrition. So I've been um, delegating two of these meals a day to my intake, which kind of pushes me about 1,000 calories into my diet, and then plus my breakfast, which is about 600, 700. So that's about 1,700. And then now I just gotta find like another 1,000 in dinners. So it's, it's actually not too bad. Like yesterday I hit five meals for the first time, and it felt grouse to be able to eat and like train and get that metabolism running again. So, what is it? It's only like midday, I'm already having meal two, which is, I guess, pretty normal. <laughs> but like, previously, I'd only be having like meal two at about five o'clock. The best things about these prepped meals is that if you've got the app My Fitness Pal, you can just scan the barcode and literally just plug the macro straight into your, um, into your calories for the day. And then like same as this brown rice here, or this basmati rice, just got to get the barcode. Click the little barcode thing at the top there. And then scan that shit. Beep. One serving, 120 grams, 33 grams of carbs, 177 calories. So there we go. There's my lunch plugged in, nice and easy. I'm already at 1,000 cals, including breakfast. Oh, well, I did have some Vitago drink training, which I can add in now. Snacks. Vitago. One scoop. 140 calories, so I'm at 1171. So I'm just having my bass of fish with the white rice and the greens, watching my vlog from yesterday. Or the one that I just posted this morning. Just sitting here sweating bullets. 
And if you're wondering why I've got this sheet on the couch, which makes it look ridiculously ugly, which I'm kind of blending in with now because I am like kind of ugly. It's to save my couch from getting cooked from the sun because the, the glare that comes through this perspex is ridiculously strong and it like just sits on the on the on the sway like right now it's there but later in the day it'll be right on the middle of the couch i'm scared my couch is going to fade so i don't really know what my options are maybe someone can tell me but maybe i can get the perspex tinted or blinds put in i don't know like it's it's a really weird looking thing not much room fuck i love my mum She's so funny. She's at the beach today, and I'm like thinking, hmm, what beach is this? Then bam, next Snapchat, Mentone Beach, it says it. She's so cute, like I love that my mum is up to date with social media and knows how to use Snapchat. What pair of shoes should I wear today? We've got a few lying around. We've got the Zeros, just kicking it here, one on top of the other. Got another couple of high tops here. We've got the Flights and these Adidas ones. Or maybe we go the Air Max. Hmm. Watermelon, black. I think these ones are a winner. It's a go! Oh, my knee. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Ugh. All right, so I'm about to go and get treatment on my knee by Maddie's sister, Laura. Um, she's an osteopath and she's gonna treat me today. So I'm gonna drive to his house right now and um, hopefully she can fix me up so that I can start training legs again because I didn't train legs once this week and I normally do two sessions and it's killing me because you guys know how much I love leg training. to be there at 12.30 to 1 o'clock. It's now 1 o'clock. Still haven't even left my area. I'm stuck in this red traffic. Oh, Why? So I just went and had treatment done and it was like the best thing ever. She put needles in my calf muscle and she said, word for word, your calf is going ballistic. So it was just fluttering, like I could feel it. As soon as she whacked the needle in there, it just went like bam, 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 bam. And the muscle just started releasing. Anyway, it's a little bit stiff at the moment. So she said my range of motion, that's gonna be a little bit hindered over the next couple of days, but then it'll loosen up and I'll start to improve. So hopefully I'll be able to fit in a leg session next week. Um, in terms of my plans for the rest of the day, I was like thinking, what should I do? Should I go to the beach? Drive past Andy's house, called him, he didn't answer. As you can probably tell, I'm in his house right now. He's not even here. Yeah, just let myself in. So he called. Anyway, what, you think I can't connect with Sono speakers as well? Mate, I've got the Wi-Fi connection. Just put my music on. Just waiting for him to come home. I'm like, hey, I've just been waiting for you, man. Maybe I'll go for a go for a dip in the in the puddle in the jungle. All right, before you laugh at this funny looking homemade pool, it is honestly the best thing you can ever imagine. All right, now let me run you through this. The reason being is like, yeah, okay, it looks like a shitty little pool, but it's better than a normal pool because you just sit in it and you just like sit in the sun and you get tanned and you don't have to worry about getting in and out of the actual water because it's only like a waist height, so it keeps you cool and you're still getting tanned at the same time. So normally when you've got a real pool, you've got to sit by the pool and you've got to like cop the heat and there's no wind and then you've got to jump in the pool and cool down and then you get out. This one's mad, you just sit there the whole time, don't have to move. I'm getting one, I'm gonna put it in my backyard. We call this the puddle in the jungle. Because, well A, there's wild animals roaming around. I mean look at this little gremlin thing here. And then look at the garden, it's like a jungle out here. So yeah, might go for a dip in the puddle. 37 degrees outside. I'm just on my way to St Kilda because I thought, man, it's such a nice day, I don't want to really waste it. I'm gonna go to the beach, meet up with Cass, and then maybe just go get a bite to eat or an ice cream or whatever and just hang out, chill in the sun. Hopefully I get a little bit of color because it's already 4.30 and it's supposed to be cold tomorrow. So you know Melbourne weather, it can change on you like that. 
guys, so I just picked up Cassie 439 and we're down at St Kilda Beach, just about to lay down on the mountain, this huge mountain that we just climbed. She's complaining because it's hot, she's never seen the Australian sun before. It's not like that California sun, is it? No, it's really hot. It's so hot down here in the land down under. How you going? So just as I predicted, look at the change in weather. Melbourne at its finest. It is about to start raining, I reckon. Now maybe not today, but tomorrow definitely. There is some dark clouds coming over us. How's that ice cream tasting, girl? Real good. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're just walking back um, from beach coma. Boomerang. We're gonna go, go get the car because we parked like. It's actually called boomerang. So far from here, man. I've been using the teeth widening stuff and it works. Look at the clouds coming, boomerang styles. Did you catch the boomerang? Uh, can we do a team effort and I pass the Pepsi to you and then you throw them in there? Alright, well, two or three at a time. Reorganising that shit. Oh yeah, perfect. That's good angles. Look at this. The mess. Look at the housewife chopping up the onions for us. That's what you call knife skills. Where'd you learn that from? You seen someone do that before? Eddie huh? active on <laughs> yeah, Eddie's kitchen. Eddie's YouTube kitchen. channel. <laughs> so I got the salad going and cooking up a steak. This cat's had fish before, keeping it clean. So I'm like, mm, well, I want to keep it clean. What can I have? And I had these steaks in the fridge for like two days. I'm like, better cook these up. Yeah, I put way too much water in there. So if you're doing a little water trick, you only want to have a little bit in there and then put on high heat and it steams it so it keeps all the juices in there. I'll just start and chop it up. Just let it roll off your elbow. I should have just done this. <laughs> <laughs> Balsamic. And flaxseed oil. Only a little bit. Just a drizzle, yeah? Yep. Beautiful. You can stir it up in the best bowl. This is the best fucking bowl I've ever seen. Remember when you said not to get this bowl? I know, I was like, what? <laughs> As if I'm gonna get a bowl like that to my house. It's only two bucks. And Cash was like, just get it, man. Like, what if a temporary bowl? I'm like, yeah, all right, whatever. And we started using it. Best decision ever. Most practical bowl in the house. In the world. In the world. <laughs> all right, I gotta clean this shit up. This is meal number five for me. I, I kind of stopped tracking my lunch, I mean my food after lunchtime because I got a couple of takeaway meals today which made it virtually impossible to put it into my fitness pal. But at least I just tracked how many meals I ate and this is number five which means I'm kind of back to my normal eating schedule which I'm super happy about because when I was struggling to fit in three meals I just wasn't getting anywhere with training and with life. So we're back to normal. Probably my last meal for the day. We'll see what happens. You enjoying that salad there? I love salad. I noticed. <laughs> I don't think that's what you're filming though. <laughs> what am I filming? I don't know what that is, whether it's a cockroach or it's a spider, but Cass was yelling and she was slamming some shit around the house. And then when I realized what she was slamming, she was slamming my new Adidas shoes. And I come running down the stairs and I seen this dead insect on the floor but I don't know what it is to me it looks like a little spider which had come across the wrong person and got squished so I'm cleaning it up now but I so I share that with you guys that don't fuck around in the household you get squished Alright guys, that's a wrap for today. I'm going to head to bed now, so make sure you do me this favour and click the like button on this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you